Meanwhile, there's other news we're following, including the former Florida governor, Jeb Bush. He had some explaining to do today to Republican conservatives who don't believe this Republican presidential prospect leans far enough to well, the right. Our I senior political it. correspondent, Brianna Keeler, is joining us with more on this part of the story. Brianna, what's going on? Hi there, Wolf. Well, maybe surprisingly, Jeb Bush did pretty well here at CPAC, considering that this uh, isn't really his crowd. The right wing of the Republican Party, not so much a fan of Jeb Bush as other potential contenders. And a distinction that a lot of political observers will make that's important is that while you have Scott Walker, who is really surging in the polls lately, has been sidestepping some questions, Jeb Bush really seemed confident answering questions and he seemed to project a strength in that even though this was at times a tough crowd. Jeb Bush's appearance at CPAC began with a small group of people walking out as he took the stage frustrated by the idea of a Bush dynasty. But Bush faced down one of his biggest vulnerabilities in a race for the Republican nomination, defending his stance on immigration. There is no plan to deport 11 million people. We should give them a path to legal status where they work, where they don't receive government benefits, where they don't break the law, where they learn English and where they make a contribution to our society. Applause followed, though some of it, no doubt, was from supporters bussed in by Bush's PAC, according to a spokesperson who added they purchased their own tickets to the conference. At CPAC, you won't find many moderates on the issue of immigration. This is, a, just objectively speaking, this is a tough crowd for Jeff Bush because this tends to be the more conservative part of the Republican Party. But Bush rejected being labeled a centrist, emphasizing his views on a number of issues key to conservatives, like same-sex marriage. I believe in traditional marriage. Abortion. I'm pro-life. And marijuana. I thought it was a bad idea, but states ought to have that right to do it. And he distanced himself from his family. If I get beyond that and I run for president, I have to show what's in my heart. I have to show that I care about people, but their future, it can't be about the past. It can't be about my mom and dad or my brother. But many here at CPAC are looking for a new name. I think he's just another Republican, honestly, and uh, part of the royal family. Two royal families, the Clintons and the Bushes. Earlier in the day, an audience waiting for libertarian CPAC favorite Rand Paul showed their disdain for the establishment pick. Okay. By the way, have Jeb Bush any supporters? But Bush urged skeptics not to write him off. For those that um, made a ooh sound, is that what it was? Well, I'm, I'm marking, been, I'm marking them down as neutral, and I want to be your second choice if I decide to go beyond this. Ooh or boo? I think it was boo, but that was his interpretation, Wolf. And when Jeb Bush was asked what kind of conservative he is, he said he's a practicing, reform-minded conservative. And that was an answer that really stood in contrast to what Mitt Romney said back in 2012 when he said he was severely conservative.